Hi everybody! In today's video, we're going to be learning how to draw some musical symbols. We're going to start with the treble clef, then we're going to draw the staff, and then we're going to finish up with some musical notes, the quarter note and the eighth notes, as well as rests, quarter rests. So let's go back and start with the treble clef. We should have seen last week in the video what a treble clef looks like. It's kind of this uh, curvy thing that we see up here in the corner. But drawing a treble clef has two parts. First, we draw a line that goes pretty much straight up and down. If yours is a little tilted, that's okay. And then we draw the curve. So we start at the top and we draw a curve on the right side, kind of a small one. And then we go and draw a large curve at the bottom that actually curls around. And then you can add kind of a tail at the bottom if you'd like to have the tail. So let's try that a couple more times. So first we draw a straightish line going down. And then we draw our curve going to the right first, and then the left, and then curling around at the bottom before we add our little tail. And again, let's just do one more just for practice. Ah, uh, whoa, that one came out a little bit skinny there. Um, but that happens as you practice drawing these symbols. You may get some that look, you know, really nice, and then some that kind of look a little skinny. Um, and that's okay while we practice. So let's go to a new page if you need to, or if you have space, you can keep using the same page. And we're going to try to draw the staff. So the staff, if we count, it has five lines and four spaces. Let's come in close. One, two, three, four, five lines. So when we're drawing our staff, we have to also draw five lines. Now you can use a ruler or a yardstick or something if you want to do that to make your lines straight. But I'm just going to do as straight as I can. And that's okay. So here we go. Let's draw one. Mm, that's pretty good. Leave a little space and draw two. And then a third. And a fourth. And a fifth one. And then again, just to be sure, let's count them. So we start at the bottom and we say one, two, three, four, five lines. And then in music, sometimes we put notes in between the lines, so we have four spaces. One, two, three, and four is at the top, and those are the spaces. So you can see we have five lines and four spaces on our staff. Now that's all that's to it, to drawing the staff. It really just is the lines going across. There's no extra stuff. So let's go on to the notes. And then once we know how to draw these notes and we're ready, we're going to go back to the staff and we're going to draw them on the staff. So notes have three parts. We have a head, a stem, and sometimes a beam. So for the note head, we just draw a round part. So just draw a circle and fill it in. That's all the note head is. A stem is just a line that goes straight up and down. That's all a stem is. And a beam that connects notes just goes side to side. That's all that that is. So when we use those three parts, the head, the stem, and the beam, we can make a quarter note, or we can make eighth notes. So let's start with a quarter note. A quarter note just has a note head, just the round part. Fill it in, and then you just draw a stem that touches at the top corner, kind of at the top right. So let's do that again. Let's draw another circle and fill it in and draw a stem 
that connects to the note. Now, sometimes you may have to draw quarter notes that are bigger. So let's go down here and draw a slightly larger circle. Get it all the way colored in. And then it's going to need a very tall stem. So the larger that the circle is, the larger that the note head is, ooh, let's make it even bigger there, the larger that the stem will need to be. So then if we come over to make our eighth notes, remember that's where we have two notes that connect. So we're going to have to draw two note heads and two stems and then the beam that attaches them. Let's try that again. Let's draw another note head and a second one to go with it. And then the stems that go down, and then the beam to connect. Very nice. And just like with the quarter note, eighth notes can obviously be larger or smaller as well. Now for the quarter rest, this one some folks think is very tricky to draw because it looks like it's very complicated. It has all these pointy parts, and then there's a curve at the bottom, but it's actually only four four little parts that make up the rest. It's three very small lines. So you go one, two, three. So those three lines are just very small lines. And then you make a tail that is a curve. So let me do that again a little bigger. I'm sorry, that was very tiny and you couldn't see it. So let me make it a little bigger. So one, and then two goes the other direction, and then three goes back. It's kind of like a zigzag, and then you just put a tail on the bottom. Let's practice that one more time. So zigzag, one, two, three, and then a tail for the bottom. That simple. So we're going to continue to practice with our notes, but we're going to take it back to our musical staff. Oh, there we go. We're gonna take it back to our musical staff and we're gonna add our symbols. So first we're gonna start with the treble clef. We're gonna start all the way above the top line and draw a tall line that goes all the way down. So if you look at my line, it started above and it went all the way down below the bottom line. And then I draw my curve small at the top and a big curve at the bottom. And then I have my treble clef, if I add my tail, if I wanna add the tail. And then I can add my notes. So I'm gonna start with this line and I'm gonna put a quarter note here. So I'm gonna draw a circle that goes around that line. And I'm gonna fill that circle in for my note head. And then for my quarter note, I'm gonna just give it a tall stem here on the side for my ta. And then I think I'm going to draw a TT on the bottom line. So I'm going to draw two circles on the bottom and then fill those in. Lovely. And then I'm going to give it two stems on the side. Lovely, lovely. And then I'm going to join them together with a beam at the top. And I do apologize, mine got a little sloppy there. So there's my ta and my tt. And those are a little tall. You could make yours shorter than mine. Mine, I made them a little bit tall. And then I'm going to draw a rest. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the staff. When you draw a rest, you can just kind of put it right in the middle. So I'm just going to do my zigzag, one, two, three, and then my tail underneath. And now I have ta, ta, t, and sh for the rest. So congratulations, folks. Very nice job drawing all of those musical symbols today. If you'd like to rewatch the video and practice again, you can do that. Or if your music teacher gives you more time to practice, you can continue to practice during class time. Have a great day.